Hello, welcome to my channel. In this episode, we want to do some small tricks in multiplication by five. Now, if you are multiplying any number, this is not pertaining to a range of numbers. Any number by five. What you need to know is that all those multiplication will end up giving you two, this or this, meaning zero or five as the ones digit. What I mean is that if you are going to get a two digit number or three digit number the last digit will always be either zero or one five now the zero if the number you are going to multiply is what even number you will get five if the number you are going to multiply is an odd number let's take the known one eight times five i have to have in mind that since eight is an even number my last number is supposed to be what zero right so what will i do just find half of eight that is what four at the zero let's take ten ten is an even number so last number will be zero half of ten is what five so put the five down have your zero let's go a step further let's say fourteen what is half of this that will be seven at zero let's take our let's say twenty two times five Half of this will be 11, right? Then add your zero. So you can see in this, let's go a step further. So if you have this, 48 is an even number, so my last number should be zero. So what is half of 48? 2, 4. So 2, 4, and zero. So you can see all these numbers end with what? Uh, zero because they are even numbers it happened to all big numbers small numbers all of them so let's say we have 246 times what five this is a big number it won't be difficult to find half of it so half is going to be one two three one two three add your zero meaning 246 times five will just be one two three zero one thousand two hundred and thirty good simple right all right, let's see the case whereby your one's digit is going to be five. It's going to be five if it is what? Odd number. As in nine times what? Five. Nine is an odd number. So as you have in mind that the last digit will be what? Five. So first thing first, subtract one from the number. It will give you eight. Find half of eight. That is what? Four. Bring the five. You don't even think of anything. Just bring the five that we know is our last digit. Let's take 11, which is going to be, if I have this, subtract one from 11, give you what? 10. Half of 10, five. Bring the five. Let's go to 21 times five. This is not an even number. So one minus 21, obviously 20. Half of 20, 10. Add the five. Let's go and say thirty-three times five. I'm sure you know the answer. <laughs> right now, you know the answer. Thirty-three is not an even number. So subtract one. Thirty-two. Half of thirty-two is what? Sixteen, right? So I have sixteen, then add my five. So that is all. If it is odd number, let's say I have two thirty-one. 231. We can see that because of this one, this is not an even number. So take away your one. You'll be left with 230. And 230 is going to be the 200 is 100. 30 is 15. So 115. So 1, 1, 1, 5. Add the 5. This 5 is from the half of this. Then this 5 is our usual number. So I believe at this point you can be able to multiply any number with 5. So this that let's see we have 92 times 5 this is from even number then i have 111 times what 5 i think this is too obvious so we have 117 times 5 if you get the answer forward that into the comment section let's see where we be thank you for watching bye bye